So give me an action plan. What would you do today to, pr to protect our brains based on what you know, world-class insights into how bacteria affects Alzheimer's? So we are learning that the biggest thing that we can do to keep our gut healthy is what we eat. Everything we eat ends up in our gut and we are feeding the bacteria that is down there. And when we break it down, we have good bacteria, we have bad bacteria. What we want to do is we want to feed the good bacteria, we want to starve the bad bacteria. So the good bacteria, they love to eat fiber. When good bacteria eat fiber, they're nourished, they're healthy, they protect us. We're looking at foods like fruits, vegetables, we call these prebiotics. Prebiotics are the foods that have the healthy bacteria that feed our gut. Thank you very much. And when we start to think about it, we might think that stress is the thing that's making us unhappy if we're too stressed. But we're really redefining stress when it comes to science because some of the stress in our life is actually really good for us. It's anti-aging. It helps our health. It can actually make us happy. Too little stress, we're not engaged. We're not focused. We're not interested. Too much stress, we're overwhelmed. So how does each of us, since we're all so different, or the people that work for you or work in your environment or you work with, if we're all so different, how do we find just the right amount of stress that we can all rise to the occasion and be our best and not be overwhelmed? You're telling us that there are ways that we can get a handle on this. Yes, and one of them is a bit surprising because there was a new discovery, a clump of brain cells right in the center of your brain mm -hmm. that tells you when it's time to fall asleep. It's called your brain clock. It actually won the Nobel Prize, the discovery. And it turns out it tells you when it's time to fall asleep, when it's time to wake up. And what happens is, is that when you get out first thing in the morning into natural sunlight for just mm -hmm. five or 10 minutes, you set that clock and it actually helps you fall asleep that night. So don't forget to get outside in the presence of natural sunlight. It helps you sleep at night. So I like to take all the data and all the research and break it down into a couple questions you can ask yourself when you're looking at your food. What? A couple questions you can ask yourself are, does my food spoil? It should spoil at some point. I was in a museum the other day, they had a Twinkie from 25 years ago. That's not the type of food that we want for our gut. Those, that's so the, the types look of at the sal Look right. at the food there yeah. and say, can it spoil? Does it live and die? It should live and die eventually. Uh, the second question is, when I look at the packaging, is there a long list of ingredients that don't sound like food? 